Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Nice to see you again. As I've mentioned in some of my previous live streams, I've been a bit under the weather lately and a bit tired. So for this week's video, I thought I would reach out to our computer future overlords, AI, that is ChatGPT, and see if it could give me any ideas for what kind of video to make this week. Can it write me a script? Can it tell me some interesting facts? Can it tell you some interesting facts? It's often said that AI is only as good as the prompts that you give it. So, what can we start with? Let's see if you can give us some ideas for video topics. Create 10 viral video ideas based on aquariums. Let's see what it comes up with. Here are 10 viral video ideas based on aquariums. A time-lapse video of an aquarium setup. Show the process of setting up a new aquarium from selecting the fish to filling the tank with water to creating the perfect environment for the fish. Very good idea. Can't go wrong with that. Number two, the most unusual fish in the world. Highlight some of the most exotic and unusual fish species that can be found in aquariums and share fun facts about each one. I can see that working. Top 10 unusual fish that you've never heard of as the video title. Behind the scenes at an aquarium. Give viewers behind the scenes look at an aquarium, including feeding the fish, cleaning the tanks and caring for the animals. Yeah, okay. Aquarium fish transformations. Show the transformations of aquarium fish from fry to adult and demonstrate the changes they undergo in terms of colour, size and behaviour. I can see that working. You don't normally see videos. Because the amount of time that goes into a video like that, if you have to grow up a fish to see those changes. A day in the life of an aquarium fish. Follow a day in the life of a fish in an aquarium showing its routines and behaviours and highlighting its interactions with other fish and its environment. Number six, aquarium maintenance tips. Offer tips and tricks for maintaining. That's a, that's a standard for the aquarium YouTubers world. Uh, tips and tricks maintaining healthy and thriving aquarium including water changes, feeding schedules and equipment maintenance. Aquarium life hacks. Share creative and effective ways to improve the environment for your aquarium fish such as DIY decorations, custom filtrations, systems and more. You can see that working. Uh, introducing new fish to an aquarium. Demonstrate the process of introducing new fish to an existing aquarium, including quarantine procedures, acclimation techniques, or acclimatization, depending where you come from, and how to avoid aggression. Amazing aquarium setups. Showcase some of the most impressive aquarium setups in the world, featuring beautiful fish, lush plants, and intricate setups. It's kind of hitting the nail on the head, this. The benefits of keeping an aquarium, highlight the benefits of keeping an aquarium, including the calming effects it has on the mind and body, and the positive impact it can have on mental health. Alright, this is just the next 10 videos for the Aquarium Adventures channel. What about something more specific and tailored to my needs? Give me an idea for a viral video about discus. How about a time-lapse video of a discus fish tank starting just a bare tank and then showing the tank being set up, decorated and finally filled with discus fish. The video could then show the fish adjusting to their new environment, swimming around and interacting with each other over a period of several weeks. This video could end with a shot of the fully matured, colourful discus fish swimming gracefully in the... Be that, that would be a great video. I mean, it's going to take a long time to film that and have to break down a tank and set it up again to do that. What about something a little bit more mundane? Um, can I make a water change interesting and then potentially viral? Start with planning the content and structure of your video. Think about what information you want to share and how you can present it in an engaging and visually interesting way. That could be the answer to the question, how do I make a good video? Uh, use high quality equipment to film and edit your video, such as a good camera and video editing software. Yeah, I believe the, the story of the content is more important than the equipment you use to create it. Incorporate interesting elements into the video, yes, such as footage of the discus fish before and after the water change or a time lapse of the process. Good idea. Make sure to include information on why it's important to change the water, uh, how to do it properly, but present it in an entertaining and easy to understand way. So dress as a clown and talk about the benefits of water changes. Use catchy and descriptive title, add a good thumbnail, tag the video with relevant keywords so it can be easily found by people searching for information on Discus. Share the video on social media platforms such as YouTube and Instagram and encourage your friends and followers to share it as well. Friends and followers, share this video whenever you go. I mean, 
that's not necessarily how to make a, a water change interesting, that's just how to create a good video. What else could we do? What else could we do? So we'll see if it can be funny. Write a funny script for a YouTube video about the benefits of the fish keeping hobby. So this is quite good. So it's given me in terms of almost like a storyboard with the, the shot slide out. Opening shot, person sitting in front of a fish tank, looking bored. Fish tank, bored. Are you tired of the same old hobbies, looking for something new and exciting? Cut to a montage of the person trying, okay. Right, I'm going to end the video. <laughs> I'm going to end the video with this video. We'll make this video. I can't believe it is coming out with this this level of detail. So another fe another feature of ChatGPT is you can amend and append to your answers. So if you don't like what it's given you, or even if you do like what it's given you, you want to expand on it, it remembers the previous um, information through your chat and can add to it. So for instance, give me the top 10 tips to be a successful discus keeper. That's what I'm always interested in. And YouTube loves a top 10 tips video, doesn't it? So it's gone for proper water quality management to maintain pH temperature and clean water. Choose healthy disease free fish from a reputable breeder or dealer. Great. Proper nutrition, great. Quarantine new fish, great. Regular water changes, adequate filtration, appropriate tank size, monitor water parameters, Provide hiding spaces, places, add rocks, plants, or caves to create hiding places for your fish. No, I'm a bit dubious about that one. Regular health checkups, inspecting your fish regularly for signs of disease or stress. I mean, a couple of them are the same, I think, as each other. So, proper water quality management is similar to monitor and maintain water parameters. So, for that one, I followed up with what 10 things should I do before buying my discus fish? Research the species, understand the specific needs and requirements of discus fit. This is great stuff. Determine tank size, set up the tank, choose a reputable breeder, learn about water parameters, prepare a... It's, it's telling me to go and do research and learn things. This is fantastic. Prepare a quarantine tank. Half the people out there in the world wouldn't tell you to quarantine here, but chat me, GBT knows if it quarantine. Research nutrition, plan for water changes, have a routine in place for regular water changes, consider compatibility. Uh, get familiar with signs of disease. So here I've gone, okay, get familiar with signs. How do I do that? What are the signs of disease in discus fish? And it's listed here, 10, 11 things. Changes in color or patterns, loss of appetite, swimming abnormally, clamped fins, rapid breathing, white spots, bulging eyes, frayed torn fins, reddened or swollen areas, excess slime production, fungal and bacterial growths. This is quality stuff. And then it even goes on at the end to say, note, if you observe any of these signs, it's best to consult a veterinarian experienced in treating fish or a specialist aquatic retailer for proper diagnosis and treatment. This kind of blows my mind. This is above and beyond just typing in something and having it going away and doing a Google search for you. It's almost understanding and rephrasing the answers to suit the question. It's, it is AI. It is artificial intelligence. It isn't just a jumped up Google search. So, if you're an aspiring YouTuber and want to make videos and are struggling for ideas, ChatGBT might be the thing to help you and give you that little extra bump in creative juices. You might as well make use of it before they take over our lives and, you know, Terminator becomes a reality. But I will leave you with the video that it suggested I make. Are you tired of the same old hobbies? looking for something new and exciting to try. Well, have you considered fish keeping? It's the ultimate hobby for people who love the tranquility of nature but can't be bothered to actually go outside. With fish keeping, you get all the benefits of owning a pet without the hassle of taking them for walks or scooping up their poop. But that's not all. Fish keeping is also great for your mental health. Just sit back, relax, and watch your fish swim around. It's like a never-ending aquarium screensaver, but with real fish. 
So if you're looking for a new hobby that's low maintenance and calming, get fish keeping a try. Who knows, you might just fall in love with it.